Okay. That's Delon, how are you today? How are things going? Um, great. It's a busy day. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. That's good. You know, we want to talk about this great film, Hollow Point. Now, first of all, I got to ask you something here because this is one intense ride and yeah. it was it was quite a journey getting there you know not only did you come on on board as the you know the lead actor but you're also a producer what was it about this story that you thought yeah i gotta tell this um yeah i mean justice justice and ethics is a difficult subject you know and when someone should take the law in their own hands is even more difficult right yes. so i think um letting people kind of have that quandary for themselves and, and kind of figure out what they would do in that scenario, or it's just kind of riveting. It held me to my seat. Like, Oh man, what is he actually going to do? And I actually changed some of the writing. So that way it would be, you know, there would be some retribution uh, ultimately because the original script didn't necessarily give to that. And so when I finished writing, when I finished reading the script, I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. That's awesome. I, yeah. And then you, you know, you get into the mindset of this guy. Look, here he is, um, you know, a guy who is ultimately wants revenge. He wants justice um, and goes to the dark side. You know, where, where do you go in your, your head to kind of get into this guy? Oh man, in my head, geez. <laughs> I've been on the dark side too many times. <laughs> okay, method acting, right? <laughs> yeah, I've been on the dark side uh, so many times. I spoke out against a terrorist group when I was a kid and they oh, tried no. to kill me for years. Yeah. Get out. So I had to hire an ex-CIA agent to hack back all my stuff. And oh man, I've been through some Hold crazy- on a minute. Hold on a minute. That is a movie in itself. I know they wrote a movie about it in Sri Lanka. Actually, there's like actors. Actually, <laughs> I became um, I was a I won best artist in my country multiple years in a row, and yeah. I was an actor there as well. And um, you know, during that time when I became really really famous, the um, rebel group in our country was like, you know, they they had taken foothold. Yeah, yeah. This was 2008. Right. Um, and I spoke out against that rebel group and I was the only artist. I, I'm a musician, by the way. I don't know if you know that. Yes, I did. Yeah. Uh, I was the only research, artist. Some research. Yeah. <laughs> I was the only artist to ever speak out against that rebel group ever in the history of the rebel group. So I got really, really fortified with attacks. And then I got fortified by the government. I, I was given, uh, I met the secretary of defense of my country and he asked me what I wanted. He said he put my video because I did a video that basically exposed the rebel group. Yeah. Wow. And uh, he said he put my video on, uh, um, what was it? Lanka, defense.lk, which is like the national website for the defense of Sri Lanka. So like every Sri Lankan across the United, across the world had seen my music video. Um, so he asked me what I wanted and I told him, well, listen, I was born and raised in Los Angeles. You know, I, I don't even know if I'm protecting the right side. I only hear what I hear. Yeah. So I told him I'd like to go to the war zone and see for myself if I'm protecting the right side. So he got me an army convoy. And during the midst of our war in 2008 Christmas, I went to the war zone on a tank. <laughs> Unbelievable. So That's the dark crazy. side, I've seen it. Yeah. Okay. So you didn't have to dig too deep, I guess, to play him then, huh? <laughs> well, the, the, the bottom line is, is like when, when you get into situations that are so close to your heart, right? Like having uh, the situation that happened in the film, right? Yeah. It, it becomes very, very easy to not see right and wrong and just see justice. Right. You know? and yeah. That, and that's the, that's, the, that's the question at the end of the day, like what is the right thing to do? And I can't answer that. That's for the, that's for the uh, I would say listener, but that's for the watcher to say, yeah. you know what? I agree with this. I would have done that. Or you know what? I wouldn't have done that. You know, well, everybody is different, right? Yeah, exactly. Because street justice in itself, you're right. Like, what do we do? Like, what, you know, of course, we're so pent up. You're angry. You want to, you want revenge. You want to, but at the end of the day, like, yeah. Do you take it into your own hands? Like, I but, don't know if I could, but, you know. But, yeah. I mean, well, it depends, you know, like when the system fails you, what do you do? Right. Yeah. Like, Which you it know, does a lot, unfortunately. Exactly. As, so, as we've, as we've seen over yeah. the last year. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, in fact, I live in Florida now because the system was failing me in Los Angeles. So I had yeah. to go. I, look, that could be a whole other conversation that we could have. Like, it's extraordinary what you can conjure up after watching this film and thinking about 
2020, you know, right. yeah, and see. But you um, you really go there in the film and it's extremely, um, like I said, intense ride, but it's very physical. Tell me a little bit about your preparation, the, choreo the choreography of the fight scenes. Did you take <laughs> any, any punches to the face? You know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we definitely took some punches, um, but once again, something I have experienced before. So you know, when it's in acting. In fact, in one of my first films in Sri Lanka, this guy who's like really yoked and huge, we were doing a scene, and they were filming, and this guy decked me across the face. Oh, and when he hit me across the face in the scene, I like I had to spin and hit the car. Wow. And. Um, I remember they yelled cut and this guy was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I actually hit you. I was like, dude, what the hell are you doing? But I hope they got the take. Yeah, they got it. They got it. But you know, I think I, um, I like action for that reason. You know, I'm a pretty yeah. physical human being in general. Um, yeah. You know, I ran track in college and I played four sports in high school. So, and I did karate since I was in third grade. So uh, for me, um, action is a little bit more fun than drama yeah you know yeah no absolutely you're ready for it and uh, what's cool about this film too you know there's a lot of really great actors in it but what was so neat was seeing jay moore who we yeah. know for his comedy right. i listen i have a theory and i say this to everybody i think comedians make the best dramatic actors yeah of course well i mean they're spitting out drama all day right when they're telling yeah. jokes they're just they're just you know sidestepping the drama and 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 making a joke out of it right you know what I mean but I thought it was great he's yeah. actually pretty he's actually really funny though too like off offset he's yeah. like you know he's funny no know? he absolutely is funny but to see him in this role that was pretty neat yeah, he looked pretty scary, dude. Like when it, when the film, like, you know, like when I looked at it after, you know, going through the edits, I was like, damn, he looks scary, dude. He yeah. looks legit scary. Yeah, no, he was good. That's another place I took a hit, too, when he was beating me up in the grass. Oh, man, I got kicked in the stomach at least twice. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you got, as a producer, danger pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, when you're a producer, it's like running your own business. So you're always the last dude to get paid. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and I got to say, also very impressive, Delon, is your push-ups ab abilities. Um, <laughs> is th that's you, huh? Like, that's yeah. really awesome. That actually is so funny. When I was in sixth grade, I started learning to do push-ups because I asked my, I remember this. So I went from a private school of 11 kids to a public school um, of 250 from fifth grade to sixth grade. And it was so different because the, the guys, you know, the it was a public school. So the girls are dressed scantily, you know, like yeah. they're not in like dress, you know, they're, you know, and their boobs are out and guys are talking about girls and and I was still like a boy. So I asked it, you know, and then I asked this girl like, hey, you know, why do you like this guy so much? And she's like, oh, he has such a nice chest and a six pack. And then I went home and asked my dad, like, how do you get a nice chest and a six pack? And I go, do push ups and sit ups. <laughs> so from sixth grade till I was like a freshman in college, I would do 200 push ups a night and 300 sit ups and 50 pull ups every single day. Wow. Without going, without fail, without going, you know, before that's I went discipline. to sleep. A lot of discipline. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, so after this, like, you know, this is going to come out. What do we have next coming from you? You know, are you continuing with music? Like, what's going on? Oh, my life is so interesting. <laughs> Lots uh, yes, interesting. I'm getting that from this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a, this is a drink of mine that I own. This is my company. It's called okay. Woke Up Herbal Energy Shot. Oh, cool. And okay. Energy. So that's a new company I started. Yeah. Um, I also have a book that I wrote called How to Be More Confident with Women, Seven Steps for the Genuine Guy. It's not a player's book. Yeah. Uh, that comes out, where's that? I think that's right here. I love it. This book right here, which I wrote. Yeah. Um, nice. Okay. This comes out June 8th, and it'll be in all the bookstores around the United States. Okay. It's, actually, it's uh, signed to a major publishing company. Um, we just released a song uh, from my band called We Struggling, which has a million listens over the last two weeks. Amazing. And I finished development on a film, which has now gone to financing, which we hope to shoot in November, a new film that I actually wrote this one, so. 
Wow. Well, I look forward to all that stuff. That's amazing. And uh, listen, I know there's lots of people who want to talk to you, but it's been a pleasure. What a highlight of my day. I mean, that was a great, great conversation I've had with you today. Thank so you, Alana. Best nice of to luck meet you. For, yeah, best of luck with the film. And uh, maybe we'll meet in person one day, you know? Well, let's no, hope right? so. Let's oh, hope so. Nice. Oh, I'd be happy to come out to Florida. You know. That's yeah, awesome. Florida's beautiful. You'd love it. <laughs> I know. I've been there many times. Not in the last year or so, but whatever. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time today, Dylan. Best of You're luck. Welcome. See you All soon. Right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.